Welcome back to Pig Fist. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're here on the Q crew with uh, with Pig Fist. Now, uh, we, we're we kind of a happy-go-lucky morning show. You guys are different than we usually have. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're, uh, well, we're, we're going to be playing Romeo Fest this week. Well, that's exciting. Are you going to be on the family stage or the, or, the, or the main stage? The main stage. They would not let us on the family stage. <laughs> uh, you have to punch the security guard in the face just to get into the venue. Stop telling people that. You can't. <laughs> we can't. cannot hire a fucking security guard. You cannot tell people. <laughs> Pig Fist is like the Ramones. Every member of the name band's last name is Pig Fist. I am John Pig Fist. This is Jeff Pig Fist. All uh, right. Have you ever heard of the band Starfuckers? We're kind of like them, but more extreme. <laughs> have you heard of Starfuckers? I have. Isn't it spelled without any vowels? Something like that. But like their gimmick. Have you heard their gimmick? They fuck stars. I don't know their gimmick. A little I bit. just know a couple songs. They would like sit on dildos and. In the middle performances and shit on the stage, they literally saw all the punk movement and they were like, "We would like to do the least music and the most of this." Yeah, they G- literally just, just G.G. Allen, but no. Yeah, no, that's what. They, yeah, <laughs> they just tried to be the craziest, and they're like, "I think there was a few different. Take. There was a few different people who were like." You're missing the point of punk, but that's kind of the point of punk. <laughs> it was like, that's the thing about punk is you can't be like, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, now you can. Exactly. So they were like, I mean, th- they couldn't publicly denounce it. They had to be like, <laughs> like all of the, the the actual punk stars had to be like, how do you feel about Starfuckers? I... Well, it wasn't my vision for punk. But <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't just say, yeah, it's bullshit. Yeah, Sex Pistols are actually the punkest band because they refuse to care about anything other than selling t-shirts. <laughs> That's very That's, punk. And it, it's, it's punk to not care about anything punks are supposed exactly. to care about. <laughs> which is why The Clash are posers for caring about politics. <laughs> Fucking posers. But uh, I still say, by the way, if if you're if you've got one of those lonely white kids that, you know, kind of looks at you with the Kubrick stare and knows too much about anime and you think might be about to kill his classmates, have him listen to The Clash. And his favorite thing is 2001 Space Odyssey. Have him it's probably to. also bad, yeah. Because that's mm-hmm. actually a good movie, but if someone really likes that movie... Yeah, how many times can you watch it before it's just creepy? <laughs> I mean, I can I watch... I mean, Kubrick movies are already very creepy. I think I think for comedies, I, I, I think for a Kubrick movie, if you watch it more than once in a day, then that's just insanity. That's... Actual, that's something clinical. I yeah. mean, there are plenty of movies, and I think all of Kubrick's apply, where you have to be like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> you can't be like, I love this movie. <laughs> you can't like, You can't talk about, um, you know. Damn, he made some points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't talk about, um, which one am I thinking with the hotel? The Shining. You can't talk about The Shining the way you talk about, like. Boogie Nights yeah. or A Knight's Tale, yeah. which are fun movies. The Shining's <laughs> not a fun movie. It's like, damn, he did a good job of being a fucking creep. <laughs> yeah, it's like Schindler's List. Like you, you can't, oh my God, I love Schindler's List. Well, <laughs> I do though. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you do like it in that way, don't you? I, do, a- I feel remorse about it though, at least, but I've just, the, I, I really love me some Holocaust movies, so I, I, I don't know. <laughs> My favorite genre of movie is I've for the past year I have been trying to make that funny on stage. It's <laughs> just not. <laughs> Most people I don't think carry the depths of human tragedy as close to the front of their minds as we do. <laughs> I've really Which is that's how 9/11's funny. Yeah. If you were already thinking about 9/11 and then add a joke. <laughs> but people who don't think 9-11 is funny. You're bringing up 9-11, dude. Right, they're not usually thinking about 9 I don't know how that works for them, but... Oh my God, you just made something way darker. I was doing a 9-11 joke the other day, and it <laughs> bombed. And one of my friends, who is Muslim, is like, I think I would crush that joke. <laughs> and I was like, you could take it, dude. It does not work for me. Right. And he took it, and he crushed it. So you know <laughs> why that on is? on the front of every audience member's mind was 9-11 <laughs> the second he touched oh, that stage. Oh, God, wow. That's actually... <laughs> Holy shit, we just made a point. <laughs> uh, donate to Andre Hosh. You know what? We should actually put up a donation link for Andre. He needs new shoes. So okay, wants, yeah, do that. He only wears wrestling shoes, so I'm not telling you to get him different shoes. Let's get him a really good pair of wrestling shoes. <laughs> we are. This is comedy. We're not going to just give you something. That's a, hang on, I'm writing it on the board. Get Andre wrestling shoes. Wait, look at this, look at this. Oh, God damn it. I, I chose the broken hand. Yeah, I'm just watching. This is... Okay. 
I could reach it not that hard. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the pen fell. <laughs> Uh, here's a sharpie. <laughs> no, it's gone, man. This desk is very heavy. I'm not... I got it. I got it. Oh. <laughs> slapstick. Air. Watch out for that banana peel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's five minutes into the podcast. <laughs> I painted a big picture of a whiteboard on the wall, and Connor just ran into it. <laughs> you got, I, I don't think we need to explain what happened. I think that you could be... You can hear everything no, they, they yeah, we, know we just exactly let the, what happened. The soundscape tell the story on this one. I tried to rip. Up, I'm just gonna, just in case. I tried to rip off a, a whiteboard off the wall that is velcroed in apparently way too well. Very <laughs> loose my and velcro. Broken hand. Immediately dropped the marker under the desk. Went under the desk. Retrieved the marker. Bashed my head on the desk on the way up. Slipped yeah. on a banana peel and fell into fucking my sister. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bad day. God damn it. Oh, Kylie just came in and his eyes uh, bulged out of his head and he's howling like a dog oh, pounding ooh. his foot on the ground. <laughs> uh, Andre? Shoe charity. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This, I would, it would I would be like to reiterate so my fucking b- funny if we could actually go fund me him a, a pair, pair of, shoes. of wrestling shoes. It's got to be wrestling shoes too. I would like to reiterate my belief that uh, doing terrorism is part of what Islam is, and they should be allowed to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just some wild takes. <laughs> I was listening to a podcast Eating the other pork day. is wrong, but they should do it anyways. <laughs> well, someone was talking the other day on a podcast about... And I'm just going to do it on ours now. About how, like, it happens. racists it's seem It's just other people's that, bits. Well, we haven't said that in weeks. And we, could we were original for a little no, bit. No, no, we just haven't been saying it. <laughs> it's just other people's bits. No, but, like, racists think that pork is Muslim kryptonite. Where it's like, that no, you're so just funny. supposed to not eat it on purpose. <laughs> if you accidentally eat it, you're not going to hell. If you're starving and you eat it, you're not going to hell. If some asshole throws a pig at you, that doesn't mean you go to hell. <laughs> so there's no... A number of people who think that then are like, I'm going to buy pork blood bullets so I can send Muslims to hell as well as kill them. A number of them are like Catholic and don't eat fish on Fridays. But if someone... Th- but may go fishing on Friday. <laughs> but we can't eat it. What is it the Catholics believe? It's th- No, you have Nothing. to eat fish on Friday. Nothing. Fridays. They don't believe anything. Well, they believe yeah. in the American flag. <laughs> that's Protestants. Catholics still have something. No, uh, uh, yeah, I guess wine and molesting kids. But other than... Oh, and uh, grandmas that cook like a motherfucker. That's what yeah. Catholics believe in. And doing math uh, ad orientum instead of... Guilt. Uh, and guilt, which is, that's good, though. Yeah, keep that one around. <laughs> Change it, you know, don't, instead of feeling guilty about being gay, but not fucking children, feel guilty about, about you know. fucking children, but yeah. not being gay. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're fucking gay kids, then, I don't know, just kind of mesh mash the guilt in there wherever it makes <laughs> sense. Like you did your penis into that kid's butt, you fucking freak. <laughs> I'm so happy that I did that. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so, I'm just so, mishmash seems, <laughs> seems to imply it's flashing. Oh, I pulled back for a second. I was like, "Am I gonna do this joke?" And then I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna do this." See, the, the it sh- felt good right here. It felt good. It's just most of the reason it feels bad for me is that like you had to hear a it. jam, <laughs> like Jim Jam. That's a sharp motion. <laughs> mishmash is sort of all over the place, washy, yeah. and so it feels like. You Push and rope. Th- yeah, you gotta thumb it in. <laughs> oh, dude, a, a guy with erectile dysfunction who fucks kids. <laughs> He's like, no, I really want to... I, I met this kid. <laughs> so I, mean, I met someone. How old are they? <laughs> oh, you know, I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> like, legally. <laughs> oh, where'd you meet him? Church, of course. <laughs> oh, this is... This may top the My bad thing I said last bit. week. It's it like, doesn't. <laughs> No, what I'm about to say might. Oh, okay. The kid's like, well, that happens to older men. I'm only like 25. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But to the kid that he's molesting. Very young. It's a big age gap. <laughs> that's a, that's an, a kid, old, you know. He's essentially dying to the kid that he's <laughs> molesting. Um, oh, you know what's funny? No, no, is no, there's no, a no. Bunch We're doing of, 40 minutes. <laughs> it's, no, it's still about oh, okay, this. Good. Is there's a bunch of old rich men that are annoyed that their girlfriends don't like Eric Clapton? <laughs> and they don't understand how they've brought that on themselves. <laughs> you fucking older girl. They yeah. love Eric Clapton. Let me tell Who's you. Who's bad, by the way, now? 
Or he always has been. Huh? I think he shot a baby full of cocaine or something. This sounds like him. I mean, fucking uh, Marilyn Manson. Jesus Christ. His... I don't think Eric Clapton's quite as bad as... Well, maybe he is. He no, Marilyn Manson's real fucking he bad. Did, he did rapey stuff. Marilyn Manson. No, but the, Ed, to Eric Clapton right now is refusing to play shows where you have to be vaccinated to get into them. What the fuck? And everyone's like, how could he do that? And then I'm also seeing people like, he did like throw a baby out a window. <laughs> or let a baby fall out of a window or something. Well, I feel like it wasn't like, I'm going to jump, buddy. <laughs> you can't let a baby fall out of a window. You don't sip Still a coffee you. seeing a baby at a window and be like, well, he's got to make his own decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I've been seeing a lot of jokes recently about like what what's what do uh, Eric Clapton and coffee have in common? Mm. They both suck without cream. <laughs> Dunk nice. Eric Clapton dunks. Welcome to oh yeah, like nineteen ninety five. If you fuck an older girl and you ask to cream on her face, she's going to ask you, "Where's Eric Clapton?" She's, she's getting something about like yeah, give me the sunshine of your love or something. Like yeah, that. no. So you could change your entire life very quickly. Right. I did. It's just I love the idea of a guy <laughs> in his fifties. Dating a twenty-five-year-old and is like these goddamn kids these days. They don't like music. How am I supposed to fuck someone that knows about Kiss? And then his neighbor, who is a hot milf, just up about him, like fucking in the background, topless, uh, headbanging to Kiss. He's like, I don't no, know what to do. No, headbanging to Kiss. She's also bottomless and being eaten out by a twenty-five-year-old dude because twenty-five-year-old dudes will like Kiss. <laughs> well, a they'll like Kiss, and b she's not dumb enough to be like, you gotta like what I like. Right. <laughs> yeah, she's like, yeah, I'm fucking a twenty-five-year-old. He's, he's not an gonna, idiot. He's not gonna know about anything that cool. Is, that is wild. That like a, a a milf who fucks a kid who or a kid, yeah a child, <laughs> a, a milf who fucks a twenty-five-year-old isn't like, why doesn't he like the things I like? They're yeah. like, he's a fucking, he's dumb, he's it's stupid. Like, you know, I'm. I'm doing this to fuck someone younger, and they, and the, yeah. and the guy is aware of it as well. Everybody is cool with it, but when it, an older dude dates a younger, did I order? Oh no, they're going to the Starbucks. Thank the Lord. <laughs> uh, there, uh, when a when a older a guy fucks a younger girl, he's like, "Why is she so young?" <laughs> She's the yeah, dumbest like, shit. You not get what's happening here, sir? <laughs> like, I think she's with you because you're gonna die soon. <laughs> either that, or she's got a daddy. I mean, if you're in like your fifties and she's like twenty, either she's like really fucking bad That's at a math. Much. Well, twenty five. That's really like twenty. Because twenty five, you're an adult out of college. If you if you went yeah. to trade school and you're twenty and working at a at working as a plumber, then you can date whoever you want. Yeah. If you're a twenty year old in college, you don't know enough shit to uh -uh. date. No, you get life experience by doing four years of college and then just getting shit on the for a year after you get out of college. And it, so, but if you take that getting shit on early, yeah, then you can get the shit on by a fifty year old exactly. man sooner. Exactly. <laughs> and you will. <laughs> yeah, whether it's a kink or not, it's anyway, coming I've, out. This entire time, I've been trying to figure out a uh, a uh, a joke on Bluetooth, Blue Chew for uh. Catholic pedophiles. Oh, okay. We can do this. Uh, <laughs> Blue Chew, Viagra, Cialis, any of them. Uh, C. Timmy, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Cialis seems like it might be Latin, so there might be something with that. Uh, oh, Bloom and Gentium. I, Lumen G I know, that was so fucking <laughs> Lumen Gentium is the name of one of the bigger documents in Vatican II, which was a big conference all the cardinals had in the 60s to update the church. What the Because, like, fuck? in 1955... It was called Vatican II? It's the second Vatican Council. Was what Nick it was Cage in Vatican II? V Nick Cage in Vatican II. He reprises the role of that priest in the beginning of Face Off, <laughs> which is one of the best sequences in any cinema ever. Mm. No, yeah, like in 1955, the Catholic Church was the same as it was in 1855. <laughs> so in the 60s, they because nothing can change organically. Someone had to, someone had to tell you. Yeah. So in the 60s, they were like, you can face people when you give mass, and like. People of other religions aren't necessarily going to hell. <laughs> Gay people still are. For sure. Well, that'll never change. Fra did Francis change that? I didn't he change uh, Yeah, he's like... he's he's. Or that they're still going to hell, but we should be nice to them so they don't, I guess. Yeah, he's been cool. He's been like r cool for a fucking pope about it. Let me cool tell you. For, you know what? No, he hasn't. You know what popes used to do? Fuck, all the time. Really? They used, popes used to use their grotesque wealth. To do grotesquely wealthy things, <laughs> but now they're all dickheads. That, that, like there is, there is a billionaire that spent it on a tricked out blimp. He shouldn't have had that money, but I'm not disgusted and frightened by that guy because that makes sense. I get that. If guy. you have ridiculous amounts of wealth, buy ridiculous things for yourself. So you like if Elon Musk now? No, he doesn't. That's not what he's doing. It's, he had SpaceX. 
They, no, yeah, he's trying to own space. <laughs> he's trying to colonize Mars, and there will be a Tesla logo on things. He will not be able to do it in his lifetime, if you, by the way. No, I know. That exa- that's the point. If you have a ridiculous amount of money, and you're spending it on what you want for after you're dead, psycho- psychopathy. <laughs> yeah. Abs- if, but if you if it's what you want while still that's alive. the thing where they're like they're doing they're building things for the future even when they won't be here yeah they're building what they want they're building monuments they're, to themselves they're for building when they the won't future they want yeah they're not planting trees in the shade of which they won't I mean, sit we should they're, really shut the fuck up about Thomas Edison at some point because it's like he wasn't a president he wasn't he had no political office he was a rich white dude I can't remember what he I mean he did do some stuff with like Thomas those. Edison yeah. Yeah, no, he uh, he, he killed stole elephant. the patent of a light bulb. From Nikola Tesla, who wanted to fuck a pigeon. Dope. Which is okay. <laughs> right, so if Check you're a pope out. who, like... So it's like, he wasn't a great scientist. He was a <laughs> patent clerk who stole patents. <laughs> and then, it, but he used that to uh, get an immense wealth. Uh, which is bad. Which, which is what America worships, though. Yeah. So but, so, but like, I mean, there were posts that were we like, they made a bunch of prostitutes crawl around naked picking up chestnuts. The popes? Yeah. Hell there would have been posted. Like, that's cool. I mean, I'm sure, you know, if we ignore the circumstances under which you became a sex worker in the Renaissance or now, if we ignore that, it's cool. And we have to, so I can make this point. <laughs> I, I feel like if we ignore the... Well, the, re- the Renaissance was like the technological revolution that we're doing now no but, no it wasn't it wasn't it's a it was a rebirth they weren't discovering new shit uh, they were yeah. just like <laughs> well you could they do were this discovering again. shit that like the islamic world and the greeks already knew yeah they were like oh no we're falling behind Let's do maybe we should let the venetians uh talk to some turkish people no and then and, and then <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> thousands of years no. No, no, no but then they did and then they built a bunch of statues which was good and then they made a game about it called Ezio (laughs) Auditore anyways blue chew for catholic priests I mean blue magentium maybe as close as we get no there's gotta be there's gonna be a better one and come on you gotta believe (laughs) I like the idea that you know the 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 thing that they wave around at church that's like full of it's called a censor a censor the censor that just like (laughs) yeah there you go say we're getting (laughs) you gotta know latin to do catholic i like that just being full of blue chew (laughs) (laughs) everybody in the in the uh everybody full job job in every catholic (laughs) if you're not catholic that's we do do that there (laughs) That's why Muslims don't like us. <laughs> Rightfully so. I feel like Muslims and Catholics would get along better than if they, Muslims and Protestants. Oh my God, if they shared a language, holy shit, they would be Italians. Muslims would be Italians if they had the Muslims same language. Muslims are pretty Italian. Yeah, no, they would be... Wait, is Gabagool pork? <laughs> it, uh, they'd make their... Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be called uh, Kalbagool. <laughs> But of course, if Sicilians were pronouncing Arabic, that would just sound ridiculous. Like, yeah, no, it no, would no. be like la la ha la. Oh yeah, this only works if I mean, Muslims if speak English. It Arabic is, is a lot of hard a's at the end of words. Mm. It tends to happen, and Sicilians don't pronounce those. <laughs> la la ha la illa. La. <laughs> It'd just be a scream, pretty much. <laughs> Hey, well, I'm la- Lockbar. <laughs> Lockbar over here. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I guess go back to killing each other. <laughs> well, no, what I, I'm saying, the, the reason the Italians were so easy to, uh, to to get into our society is because they, like, they're like, all right, English is going to be a thing. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's get it taught in school. Well, I mean, they do that in, hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Maybe we just need to wait another 200 years because they already started to do that in a lot of Muslim countries. They've started teaching English. I mean, it's just going to be English. They're going to be Italians in 200 years is what I'm saying. I hope they skip over the shitty part of being Italian. <laughs> <laughs> just like the Mexicans are going through right now and before them, the Italians, and then before that, the Irish. And the blacks just like throughout all of it. So a forever. mishmash throughout all of it. Blacks, the Jews of America. <laughs> and also Jews, the Jews of America. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> They have it a little bit better here than in it's, Europe, but that's because back when Europe was big, it was a while ago. 
It's stunning to me every time that a, a Republican's like, don't let in immigrants. I'm like, you know, we consistently exploit them all the time. We every time them. we let them in. We, our country is built on immigrants, not because it's good for the immigrants. No. <laughs> the bottom of the building isn't always doing the best. <laughs> yeah. See, the thing that when people are like, they don't want immigrants and they don't, they don't realize that... Um, well, there's a, something called a class system. <laughs> the, I have heard and a each very class smart thing. needs the other. <laughs> well, no, we don't need the ruling class. Oh, touche. Fair. Uh, each class needs the class below it. Yes. <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing is, uh, you, uh, you don't, a field, if no one owns it, you can still grow food in it. <laughs> Potatoes will grow whether or not there's a piece of paper that says the place they are belongs to a guy. <laughs> Very true. Uh, but there's, I've heard it said about conservatism that the point of conservatism is there needs to be one group of people that the law protects but doesn't bind, and one group, another group that the law binds but doesn't protect. Uh. So I think if, if all of the hoggish reactionaries that populate the American rural areas understood that, they'd be pro-immigration because they'd know those guys aren't getting rights. <laughs> and, and the ultimate goal is to inevitably give them rights, but... We would, I mean, yes. But it keeps not happening. Well, that's, I guess well, that's also... What it, that's like, the, I'm, in, I'm theoretically pro immigration but I'm also like, are you sure you want to come here? <laughs> like, if, if you do and you want to burn it down, I'll help. And I, yeah. I'm pro immigration because I think everybody, if you want to come here, you should totally come here. But it's going to be a bad time for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, that's I'm going to do my best to try and make it a better time, but it's not going to be great. <laughs> that's why Your I'm... Your kids a, are going to have a phenomenal time, though. That is the giant benefit. Your kids would be uh, do better, yeah. Because they speak fluent English, so it doesn't... I take it the Starbucks is here. <laughs> uh, do our plugs. Uh, I, what are our plugs? Wait, is the 7th a live show? Because that's going to be oh, a problem. Oh, I think Kylie's going to do it. Thanks, babe. Is the 7th a live show? Because that would actually be a problem for me. Uh, yes, why? God damn it, I just RSVP'd to something. What, it's at 9 p.m.? Does that matter? We'll, we'll find out as we go. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll do the plugs then, because <laughs> Kylie's getting the topics. Um, uh, be sure to donate to Andre's shoe charity, which is legitimately going to oh, become I a thing. Have to leave this thing early, but yeah, we're, we'll be fine. Yeah, donate to Andre's shoe charity. Uh, donate to Andre's shoe charity. Uh, come to the live show August seventh. Uh, another plug is um, August seventh. Uh, uh, the the link is going to be in the bio for that. Uh, buy our merch. We, we just put up some new shirts. They And all the sh old shirts have really cool, badass backs now, which are going to be awesome. There's tank tops. There's a bunch of other shit. Um, there will be koozies? We're going to do... A, eventually, we're going to do a podcast with the Australians about the fact that we have their box of goodies. We have their, I forgot we have their box. <laughs> yeah. I think that's all the plugs, so now I'll segue into the fact that I hit him up about the last show, and I was like, yeah, I promise not to drink on this show, and he's like, we had to cut so much. <laughs> it's their like, fault. They should be No, no, we just, uh... We were a little bit off the rails. We were pretty off the rails. Well, we fucking started drinking at noon, and we're like, this will be fine, right? And then 10 o'clock rolls around, and we're like, N no, no, that was not. <laughs> How whatever. did you figure this out? Ah, whatever. Yeah, they're cool. They don't really give a shit. I mean, if, if you want us to not go totally off the rails, you're going to have to lay down the rails for us. Mm. Oh, well, also, just next time we won't drink, and regardless, we'll I be might. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, you're a responsible drunk. <laughs> yeah, not an alcoholic, I'm an alcoholist. <laughs> one is a disease, one is a commitment. <laughs> and I have a commitment to God. I'm on a mission from God, fucking butt chugs of 40. <laughs> We're on a mission. That's the, what Jesus said before he died. The Blues Brothers built with alcoholics. <laughs> We're on a mission from God. Slaps a priest, takes the the sacrament wine, yeah. fucking slams it. And that I priest mean, had recently been molesting somebody, and we're back. By the way, you can be like a, a scruffy priest that's drinking all the communion wine. There, there was that's a, a cool guy to be. There was a movie about it that Dr. Cox was in. Really? Yeah, he was like a, a a priest who really loves football or something like that was his big gimmick. But it's like he but was also a drunk. Yeah, so it was like I don't believe John C. McGinley can play someone who's mentally stable. Good. Wait, Kylie, bring me Starbucks. I will, but I have to tell her a cool story. Feels like the priorities are out of order here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can fight those priorities. Yeah, no, like he plays the piece of shit in Platoon, and he plays, obviously, Dr. Cox. Wait, I mean... Probably someone else bad. Go ahead and retire after that, dude. You did it. He could be done if he wants, yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think he probably. It seems as though he has. But, I haven't seen yeah, anything else. Fair. I feel like he's just gonna do the. He's gonna do a low budget version of what. Uh, Oh my god, it's so tiny. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know which one. Which one's, one's for pussies and which one's black? Uh blacks love pussies. That one's yours, man. I have that no. by the way, which one's for pussies and which one's black is uh what of what a racist with very weird fetishes says about a sperm bank. Here's a coaster. <laughs> oh <a> <laughs> coaster. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till it cools down. This is now a Starbucks podcast. Brought to you by Star. Could you imagine if we get sponsored by Starbucks? I mean, <laughs> I'd take it. I'd feel bad. But it would I'd be take a it. bold <clears throat> choice from them. I don't think they they probably wouldn't. If, no, I've probably called for the death of their CEO on this podcast. They're like, we love that about you. <laughs> Will they ever do something like super fucked up? Like kick another black person out of their story, which they totally did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, then we could absolutely. They're like, we need somebody who's well, Starbucks- a little bit off the rails <laughs> that can bright our ship. If they want, like, we well- actively want your CEO to die. There's our guy. There you go. We're trying to seem contrite. <laughs> and well, I mean, if Starbucks wanted to do the anti woke turn, oh well, no, that would but- never work for Starbucks. I think it might. Really? If start if. If if like they took Schultz off the board, and of course he still keeps getting paid, put Andrew someone else Schultz there. Schultz is on the board. I think his name's Howard. <laughs> uh, so no, so they're like, uh, and they're like, we're gonna be anti woke now. It's we're doing Christmas cups every day now. <laughs> Do you not think that the the people that love diamond and silk and like black rifle coffee and like put Punisher tattoos on their cars, like they will absolutely be like Starbucks is woke now. The dog, the dog is eating cardboard. <laughs> it's very cute. Um, I absolutely... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's a little delivery girl. <laughs> um, she forgot her order and she will get no tip today. Her child will go hungry. <laughs> Capitalism is... I'm good. never going to stop talking about the economy because I'm so deeply guilty about it. God, it's tough to being white. A suit. <laughs> it is. For what? Uh, I think it's a wedding. Oh, on the 7th? Yeah. All right, that's pretty loud. <laughs> and they're Wait, redoing time? their vows because they just already did it. But I don't think... go. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Four to eleven. So okay, I'll just have to go. You should come, and then I, I can get drunk. I'm okay with this. I will. Do you get a plus one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I don't think you're allowed to just show up, bud. I mean, I might just text her and be like, "Can I?" Who is redoing their vows? Oh, they are doing like a whole thing though. Mm. Uh, Jesus. Is that a church? I thought this was a party. Well, I feel like I might have to wear the ill fitting suit that I'll wear a suit to our podcast. <laughs> well that's not a I'll I i do not have a I don't have a good suit. Oh, yeah, you gotta get a suit. Well we could do I thought the next time I needed it was your wedding, so I wasn't <laughs> worried about it. <laughs> well we could do I mean I figure by eight. Are they doing... What are they doing? You can find out about I'm gonna this. I'm going to have to find out exactly that. what they're doing. Maybe a show on August 7th. We haven't sold any tickets. I'll so. call in. Not a big deal. Uh, <laughs> That'd be garbage. <laughs> we might be able to push it back to 11. Maybe also... I'll just, maybe I can just wear khakis. We might be able to push the show back to 11. It's in Aurora. Okay, but the show, we can push back to 11. Pat, you'd have to be past 11. Well, you don't have to be there the whole time. I assume it's like at least like a wedding ish style. I hope. I assume it doesn't all let out at eleven. I well, figure. I'll, ta- I'll figure. Exactly. We don't need to speculate about this here because we're gonna get <laughs> zero places. Anyways, uh, a priest walked into a boy, <laughs> <laughs> and he said, "Oh, I'm oh. sorry, son. I didn't see you there." And he kept walking. Because can we have one good hypothetical? <laughs> can I? <laughs> oh, congratulations to Jeff Beesbo on not dying. And by congratulations, I mean you, fucking, fuck, take that, shove that cowboy hat down your goddamn throat. So mad. Cowboy hat in space. Con- congratulations to Wally Funk, a woman with a very cool name who got to sort of go to space as a hostage of Jeff Bezos. <laughs> hostage. And for a second there, he made an awkward joke of like, all right, we're not going back. And nobody <laughs> laughed. <laughs> he's like, uh-uh. <laughs> and he's I like, just, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I think, I think there's a good chance he saved him and his brother's life by bringing her with. Yes. <laughs> God, I wish he had fucking we got to make a crash landing in israel oh uh-oh. 
No, Isra- Israel sucks. They would like Jeff Bezos. Yeah, but I mean, it's a crash landing. I feel like their geodome, just whatever their dome is. I don't know. Their geodome. <laughs> <laughs> their Beyblade dome would uh, <laughs> would uh, just Well, Beyblades did part the Red Sea, so. <laughs> That's true Beyblade lore. How many seasons? Someone touch my penis. So stop talking about Beyblade lore. No, no, no. That's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. As soon as if uh, every time, every time I'm in bed with someone, I say, "Let it rip." <laughs> <laughs> Let it rip. <laughs> I forgot. And then how I many spin a Beyblade on her get... clit? <laughs> <laughs> and she punches me in the throat. <laughs> right. Why are you there? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, this is a true story about what I do. <laughs> And then she punches you and throws it. No, she likes it. Women love it when you shoot bay plates at their clips. When they're unconscious, they do. <laughs> Wakes them right up. <laughs> I'm too tired. How about now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> I'm wide awake, but don't want to have sex. <laughs> want to go to the hospital. That's what I want to do. Well, fair enough. <laughs> Why did they make diamond-tipped Beyblades? <laughs> to vibrate diamond clits, I guess, is what I'm going to go with. Did you? Thought I, I, was gonna, I thought I was going to come up with something with a better funny to disgusting ratio, Pierced but I did clits. Come on. Pierced clits. That seems... It's pierced. I wish they didn't. It's pierced in like... um. It's... <laughs> <laughs> What's about to happen? The piercing is a Beyblade arena. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just stuck about, to a Beyblade arena. About yay big. <laughs> uh, the size of a serving tray <laughs> is Jesus. the piercing. I don't I don't approve of it's genital ancient, piercings. I'm going to go ahead and say that. It's ancient African uh, culture. <laughs> like the... Like, yes, no, Beyblades, I'm sure according to the lore, are part of the <laughs> They just went wild on that one been reading a lot about ancient african culture uh in a normal way not like no, a white guy who's no, interested in black no. people <laughs> you're no, not just, allowed to do that no it's the one it's that book about how psychedelics are you're about a minute culture. away from a mission trip aren't you <laughs> <laughs> hides plane ticket in back pocket <laughs> another reason it's too bad louis ck uh uh kept jerking off on the telephone because he had great points about mission trips where it's like they would go on mission trips and be like, I just learned so much and it was so it's such a growth experience for me. Well, great. So you took from them too. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't help them. That's a uh, Bo Burnham made a phenomenal point where he was like, Why do you have to uh why do you have to view every cultural revolution through the a view of your own self actualization yes. becoming a better person? <laughs> it's like just don't be a cock. It's not <laughs> about your own personal moral narrative. Yeah, it's it like is. I want to be a better person. Shut the okay, shut up. <laughs> I have seen takes on TikTok, by the way, of people saying about like the Sako bit. Um, I just it was it was kind of great because Sako was POC coded and he was being controlled by a white man, and that just didn't make me feel comfortable. Well, it's yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> that's what he was saying. <laughs> have you been fucking listening? It's <laughs> <laughs> a phenomenal, <laughs> bum, bum, banana, phenomenal, bum, 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 bum. phenomenal. The white rape everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we really do. Uh, we really like do. <sighs> God, if I could do anything about it. We'll donate. <laughs> I mean, you Honestly, can donate to anti-imperialist I mean, I don't even things. Think, I mean, it is rich it, white men. You know, put... It, but it's also the rich is the operative word more so than a lot of other things. But there. whiteness is wrapped up in it. It's the secondary word. The <laughs> the source of it is it's a contributing adjective. Don't, yeah. don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's not the primary adjectives, but it's the contribute. It, it does have a you know. Well, whiteness is certainly tied to richness. <laughs> yeah, you're the you're the queen in chess there if you're white. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the rich part means. The other people start with, well, no, 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 no. Rich makes you the queen in chess, and the whiteness makes it so that the black pieces start with less pieces. <laughs> I think that's the analogy. I'm yeah, go with. I start with. I mean, in America, yeah, but I mean, the, a lot of other places, and a lot of, but America, it is so. Oh yeah, black it's and almost white. Almost a caste huh? system. Black and black white. And <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no, it's because other races were also awful too. Yeah, they're black. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it's, uh, uh, but uh, but uh, but also I hate it here. But also, being poor and white does suck. Not as much as being Not poor as and black, Ooh. but it's worse than being rich and black. I'm gonna say that. 
I'd make that argument. I'm pretty wealthy and white, so I'm not saying I have it worse than anybody. Oh, yeah. But I would rather... Whites in West Virginia have it worse than black people in Beverly Hills. I will make that argument. I think that's pr- yeah, probably pretty much true. Mm-hmm. It doesn't... It doesn't... You Being rich and black doesn't negate the problems that being black comes with. No. But it's, if we're, you still have to deal with that, but that is... But, you know... But if we're comparing, if we're comparing apples to slavery here, yeah. then I'm good. <laughs> can I, apples are better. Uh, <laughs> I much prefer apples. Opinion. Even if there's worms in them, I will take them over slavery. <laughs> so to be I, honest, if it is a, a wasp riddled apple, <laughs> I will no, take. A, I might enslave a race to not have to eat a wasp. <laughs> not I would make wa- it a race that's been having had it good for a while. You know, the Turkish. I'm not a monster. <laughs> The Turkish, uh, yeah, sure. I just picked. I think, them, they're, do- I think I they're doing okay, actually. Fuck them then. They're in NATO. They're oh fucking my God, the Kurds, pretty dude. Israel Israeli slaves. That is. <laughs> you can't do Israeli slaves because then they're just yeah, going to be know. like they're enslaving Jews again. No, no, no. <sighs> I'm enslaving colonizers from Brooklyn. <laughs> I hate that. Is I, I'm gonna. No one hurts liked this tweet when I tweeted initially, so I'm gonna uh, risk do, your life to do it. again. I'm gonna say it again, even though people clearly said they didn't want to hear it. Uh, I think there should be a 23 and Me in Israel that just tells you what part of America you're from. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Ooh, I'm from Britain. That's better, right? That's worse. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from India. That's good. You're white, buddy. <laughs> That's real bad. Or there's right wing racism in India. The Hindutva movement is like like how we have white nationalists here. Well, there's Indians that are doing that now. No, no, no. But I'm and saying, they're, and guess who they're killing? Muslims, because what the imperialists fuck? really hate Muslims, unless the imperialists happen to be Muslims, which happens, but used to happen more. Would you rather be Muslim or Jewish right now? Because I think Jewish. It really depends on the the setting, but if I, I think don't, almost every there are a few places that Muslim is better, like like it, predominantly Muslim <laughs> like countries, it, Muslim countries, Dubai, Muslim for example. countries that were like used to be a democracy, and then Britain or the United States destabilized them to get oil, and so some bug fucking sane Muslim cleric <laughs> who was super right wing took over the country. There, I'd rather be Muslim than Jewish. Oh, yeah. Everywhere else, I'd rather be Jewish. Well, I think Dubai, I'd rather be Muslim. Uh than anything anywhere else. <laughs> I th- but Dubai is such a touristy place. I don't. Think oh no, you no, gotta... no! D- Dubai in Dubai, I feel like being Muslim is the same as being Catholic here. I think it's the sa- or Christian here. Yes, I think yeah. it's the same fucking thing. And also, I do like the idea that America. Uh, th- this is this is the the setting that I've made up in my head is that America or any of the other terrible white nations came to Dubai and was like. What are you doing with your oil, buddy? And Dubai comes out like, no, 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 we're, we're with you guys. Yeah, no, they're like, <laughs> they're like we're, for real? We're selling it to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, can we build a really big tower and have the dumbest sports cars? Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> wait, wait. Sell us the you're oil. on board with this? Oh, yeah. We love this. <laughs> like, oh, thank God. I thought we were going to have to kill. Oh, I mean, we're fine with killing people, yeah. but I thought we were going to have to kill more But it's more, more expensive. People. And they're like, I know. And it's like, I no, know. we keep killing them too. <laughs> Did you know the people that work here, their bosses have their passports? <laughs> I love it here. That I mean, is you a guys great, great idea. Why can't man? America would never let me do that. <laughs> give it time. Give yeah, it well, time. Yeah, well, you'll get there. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah, like I some talk. guy that lives in the Burj Khalifa with you know the DJ Khaled beard and the 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 stupid sports car, and he's he's walking up to women that are too young and going, "Hubby B, please touch my penis." That guy. <laughs> he doesn't just say like, please. <laughs> He, do- he says, please. He uh, doesn't mean it. Uh, but you know, because of the implications. <laughs> he's just got his arm around like Jeff Bezos, like, give it another generation. You'll be able to have their <laughs> Jeff passports. Jeff Bezos crying. <laughs> <laughs> they technically have right. <laughs> so give it time. I see the way your country's going. This is good direction. You got a long-standing <laughs> anarchy ahead of your uh, fucking monopoly ahead yeah. of you. You're going to get it. I can't, they you know really actually, do have their is- fucking passports. I think I want to say it's Dubai that like yeah the people that built the Burj Khalifa were essentially slaves. <laughs> How do you think you build big buildings? <laughs> Although uh, an interesting but it and won't tame last fact as long as the, the pyramids because it's worse construction. Of course it is. Now that 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 old the, the concept of like man nothing lasts anymore these days also true of wonders of the world. Yeah. None of our, none of the things that Maybe, have been built in our lifetimes will last more than two lifetimes. I anything that's a triangle, I'll trust because it's just the strongest fucking shape in nature. That's why the yeah, pyramids the have been around itself. so goddamn long. Well, the Eiffel Tower, I feel like, is going to be around the longest. They say the Hoover Dam is going to be around the longer Tower's than the pyramid. The fuck out! That might be actually. 
But can, here, not... can I give you a tame nice fact about the Burj Khalifa that's not about slavery or imperialism? Can you? Yes, I can. <laughs> I'm because stuck. fasting during Ramadan is from sundown to sunset. The Burj Khalifa is so tall that sun up and sundown are different times. So clerics have had to say, if you're in this block of floors at this time of day, you can stop fasting. Or if you're on this block of floors at this time of day, you can stop fasting. It's the tallest building in the world? Yeah. Huh. And it's and because it's so high, you can see the sun for longer, and you have to fast for, like, another couple minutes. What the fuck? <laughs> what, another couple minutes? Who gives a shit, then? Just wait, dick. No, that's, I don't think anybody up there is like, God damn it! <laughs> I just think it's interesting that Muslim clerics had to be like, we built a building so big, we have to give this guidance now. Yeah, that's got 20 more minutes. to like <laughs> <laughs> That's collapsing soon. Yeah. Also, uh, pe- people who uh, your boss owns your passport... Um, Kill your boss. All of the passports are in the bottom of the building, but fun fact, if you fly a plane into the top or middle of that building, the passports just fly out like a slot machine. And wouldn't, and it, then be you funny can if, leave. wouldn't it be funny if a Middle Eastern country did a 9-11 to itself, just like America did a 9-11 to itself? Which <laughs> I, way was I going with that one, folks? Got around. God damn. You know what? I, I will like to say, if it is true that your bosses hold your passports, then do that. Oh, go ahead and, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> but the, if there is like, only one piece no, of advice you can justify. No, my boss is super cool. I don't know why they keep telling me to kill him. <laughs> just a great relationship. No, not in America. Probably don't kill your boss. Well, no, don't kill your boss. Kill the few, few up. Yeah, you probably get up a your, couple. Yeah. <laughs> no, Jump but like a few rungs. <laughs> like, yeah. So, if you have anything that you want us to plug on this show, which does reach actual audience nowadays, we get about an average of fifty views per episode. So we're talking to people now. <laughs> hey, you know what? You fucking bandwagon fans. All right, <laughs> our friends and my dad have been here for a couple months. <laughs> We're not allowed to talk to your Oh, wait, no, anymore. we wait. We got to wait. For <laughs> we, we, these ones are the ones that aren't bad. Wait. Uh, we'll wait a little while. Anyways, uh, so if you want to get, if you want to buy a shirt and then tweet at us, uh, we'll promote whatever you want us to promote on the podcast and we'll retweet you and all that shit. Uh, just send us proof of purchase. And if you donate, send us proof of purchase. We'll retweet you. We'll say all the shit you want to. Uh, leave a review on Apple Podcasts. We can't see those reviews. So if you leave a review on Apple Podcasts, shoot a tweet at us and say, hey, I left a review. What do I do? The Twitters are at the Connor Ford and at Kellen underscore Frank. Uh, they will be in the description as well. And if you have uh, any evidence that the CIA is behind the recent protests in Cuba, also get in touch with us. <laughs> I'm not a journalist, but I will tweet at one. So, like, it's so baffling to me that like the only advice you can give to slaves is kill them. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, what else? Uh, there's n- no peacefully protest slaves. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's not. Just why, like, slave revolts, they tend to kill a few extra people, kill some kids of slave owners. Mm-hmm. Not, not my, I'm not going to tell you not to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I honestly would prefer you killed a few extra people. I mean, get, send the message. You're sending when, a message. When it comes to send kill people, I usually think you should err on the side of caution. <laughs> no, usually I think err on the side of caution. There are, cir- there are circumstances. There are circumstances where I'm going to say, go ahead and do a little bit of overkill. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> like dropping the bomb on Hiroshima, which was a good thing. Eh. No, it wasn't. I was kidding. <laughs> Which is like a billion 9-11s, and there was no retaliation, by the 11 way. 9-11 every day, my Just favorite so phrase. Clear. What? 9-11 every day. Oh, is what happens to the Middle East because we're bad people? No, that was uh, how many, 3,000 people were dying a day of COVID at one point, and someone ah. said, that's like 9-11 every day. <laughs> and the phrase 9-11 every day enchanted me. <laughs> 9 11 every day. Well, also in the Middle East, it's close. Also, yeah, that's <laughs> it was close for a bit. <laughs> We're good. I think 200 We did a not we did more than one 9 11 back at them. And by them I, I mean around, not the people who did 9 11. I think about 100. I think I think it was uh, when I checked in like 2016 it was 200,000 dead from that war, not including American soldiers. I don't worry about including them. Uh, that's all, that's also our fault. Also it's not often that American soldiers die in that situation. You're essentially a dude in a mech suit fighting bunnies. It's not it, yeah. fair. But <laughs> I Felix on uh, on Chapo said it's like it's like you're starting a game a game with all of the Call of Duty kill streaks and you're playing against someone playing a battle royale. Yeah. They have to just find a gun on the ground and you're like tactical nuke. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking insane. Yeah, no, IDFs are the most deadly things that they could put up against us, which is... The IDF is the Israeli Defense Force. 
Uh, well, and they would never do anything cool like def- fighting the American military. What am I thinking? You're thinking IUD. of IEDs. You're thinking, no, of, I'm thinking, IUD. of, IUDs. You're thinking of IUDs. <laughs> I, I, I should have said that and not even said IEDs. <laughs> uh, anyways, the IUDs are the most dangerous thing you could put up against America. Like the touted as the nine out of ten veterans are like. Well, that's I think it the was a lot of what ended up killing. That's that's America. the shit that really fucks us up. A lot of people survive that (laughs) like if you bomb one car it's like in the movies it goes up in flames in the fucking in reality it gets fucked up and everybody in there has to go home for a minute six out of ten of them come back and it's, it, suck, it sucks that they lost a leg, and it sucks that they that they died. That's it's also that America's there. It's and that's also America's fault. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like give it up for the troops. Stop killing him. We're not killing him. Yeah, no, it. If in America, if if you go to war and survive, you win the right to twelve percent off at Applebee's. If you die, you Perfect. win the right to be worshipped, <laughs> which is not a consolation. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you. You don't doesn't. know. Like say, uh, to be I, an American, so where at least stupid. I know so, I it's just, hate this It's place. just that it's stupid. That's what. Uh, that's right the thing here. that that always strikes me is like the Nazis were being Nazis for like Wagner and shit. I mean, they were also idiots who believed in the occult and a bunch of stupid shit and were like what Ar- are Aryans like, are the hottest people in the world, and then they're a bunch of like fat morphine addicts. But what about the Swedish? Shut up. <laughs> or like North Korea, brutal country. Does yeah. horrific things. Their parades are cool. At <laughs> least they have that. <laughs> Americans are ready to die to not wear a mask at Applebee's. <laughs> uh, we have Fourth of July. Don't forget about Fourth of July. Yeah, the That's parades are cool. d- dumb, and I have sensory issues, so the fucking sirens are <laughs> so fucking bad, man. When was the last time a white country was bombed? Well, World War Two, pretty hard. I would say. Uh, Britain when's, when got was the it. last time? Britain got it in the ass in World War II, which no, is No, the last time a white country was bombed was the last time Hamas launched something in Israel. <laughs> nice. Yesterday. <laughs> Probably. Or the, is there a ceasefire now? We're, I don't know. There's too many hellish things going on. I can't keep track. Also, the ceasefire they're doing is between two governments. The government of Palestine, I don't feel like, is on there hasn't the been side an, of the Palestinians. There hasn't been an election in a long time. Mm. And when a country is constantly under attack and there's no resources, you tend to get bug fuck right wingers in there. Yeah. Mm. Like America. <laughs> I'm proud to be gay, because every American's gay. <laughs> That's a cause I would die for. Make all make, make America all Americans gay, gay again. What? How isn't this a thing? Well, it's still MAGA, though, so. Make America gay again. MAGA, make America queer again. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what we should have done? You know how... Made America you queer. You know how we could have won? We, like, Hillary could have won mm. if Democrats went with... MAGA stands for make America gay again. If you do it, you're gay. It's over. Maybe Hillary said that once. Uh, absolute only response to Trump, because he is a troll, is to out troll. You, you, you just yell at it. You yell back at him. Yeah. You wear a diaper, bitch. <laughs> I I still believe if Hillary Clinton had said in the in the election, like instead of like Pokemon, go to the polls. I believe we're better than this. Just like you wear a diaper, you pussy bitch. You look stupid. <laughs> that, Hit him underneath. <laughs> I mean, he's, he would be better at it than her. But. Yeah, oh yeah. Because she needs somebody in her ear. But because politics, this is the first time that politics has been that. So. It is not. <laughs> oh yeah, Ronald Reagan. And then your mom got him. High five. <laughs> your mom wears a diaper. <laughs> Donate to Andre's shoe charity. <laughs> oh, he goes by Sharif now. And I am calling him Sheriff because I'm a racist. <laughs> I think that's where we got the word Sheriff. <laughs> From Sharif? Yeah. Sharif don't like it. <laughs> Rock the Casper. Rock the Casper. Again, I listen to the clash. I shot the sheriff. <laughs> but but I, I didn't did shoot, shoot no the... caliphate. <laughs> I shot the sheriff. I would have shot the caliphate if it had been that Possible. other one. I don't see. I don't understand Islam well enough to call it up that quick. If I really <laughs> thought about it, I could remember the difference between Shia and Sunni. But oh my god, I'm tired. Good luck. No, it was it, there was there there was Muhammad, peace be upon him, and then <laughs> the, there was one guy that succeeded him, and then there was another guy that another group of people wanted to succeed him as the ca- caliph, and that split is I think Sunni and Shia. Okay, which is kind of similar to like I think 
No, in Christian, it's like two sons of Abraham. One of them went Jewish and one of them went... Oh, the the parallels Arab. are insane for our stuff. Fight wars over it all the time. Yeah, because you're next to each other. <laughs> yeah, the, it's just an excuse for war, really. <laughs> Usually it is. It's like, well, we were going to do this anyways, but we got to tack reason on. It's like playing games of chess for the rich. I'm like, well, I want to play chess. It is. That's why, God, World War One is like... Hmm. We should talk about it more. That was a meat grinder, dude. That it was, was a meat grinder, but it was, but it was like cousins playing chess against each other. Oh, but duh. But then yeah. the pieces were us. Yeah, no, for real. It was wild. And I do mean us this time, because rich kids died in World War One. Oh, yeah. There was a... Well, then they figured that out. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Thank God they figured it out, too, because uh, it's great. <laughs> I mean, if they hadn't figured it out, I probably would have been hanged. I would have been. I would have been. I if if there the draft was truly equal, I would have been so much happier with it. Like if it was like anybody, you can't get out of the draft, dude. Whatever. You, I don't give a shit. If yeah, you're but rich. that's not ever gonna be a thing. I know, but if it was, I'd be a to- huge fan of the draft. I was like, get them. <laughs> this is essentially getting them. Well, I, no, you and know, then the you people know, in charge. You know, what I like be- is there was an amendment to the Constitution that said if America is to go to war, it has to be. A plebiscite, like, everybody has to vote, like a referendum. Mm -hmm. And if you vote, that is signing up for the military. (laughs) If you vote yes to war, you have enlisted. That is fucking awesome. And I think we should absolutely be doing that. Wait, that isn't, and that's gone, I assume, very quickly. They were trying to do that. And they, like, it was trying to pass an attack. I can't remember when. that makes sense, though. Yeah, we should So if you're 60, okay, do it. You're not going to go in the military. Congratulations. Or you're going to go in the military and be like, well, I don't know, make sandwiches. (laughs) <laughs> You're gonna have to help. <laughs> yeah, that's the. But yeah, but that, that's that's absolute. a great way to have a country that Actu- the, where the Department of Defense is not a dystopian misnomer. <laughs> we are. We're, we're we're the capital. Sometimes. <laughs> that is. Yeah, but, fucking, see, but we would never that do that because America is not a democracy. That thing. is such a good fucking idea to just be like, if yeah, if you vote, do that, or and also. If you if it's like oh but we need we still need domestic manufacturing okay your service to the war is continuing to do your domestic manufacturing job yeah so then all the fucking rich people are <laughs> but then rich people have to do jobs I guess that is nice no they don't go they into do the fucking national or guard the fuck, yeah. like Bush did <laughs> see there there is no hack you just you have to do a socialist revolution yeah there's no fucking hack to it you gotta mm-hmm. you gotta change who's in power that's what a revolution is. Which is why the American Revolution wasn't a revolution. Because no power changed. Because it wasn't a class of we people who wasn't in power taking power. It was people already people in, in power, power divesting themselves from other people. In getting power. rid of the top of that power pyramid. Well, that's, I mean, that's good, though. So the it, no, people, it's, no, it's not. No, it's, it's not. The, the classes people on didn't level change. four got rid of level five. No, but and at that point, King George wasn't really the one in charge. Americans like to talk about it like that. Like, oh, they had a monarch. It had been a constitutional monarchy at that point. They had a parliament. Capitalism was the most advanced in England. Hmm. And the, and merchants had a lot of power in England. And they, like, it still was the king, but it's not like... I mean, the, the fucking revolutionaries wanted to make George Washington a king. Their problem was not the concept of kings. Mm. Boo. <laughs> and it, had, there, had there been a revolution in America, the, the soldiers would have been black and Native American... And this that country a, would have been way better. It's so astonishing that in the American Revolution, there were people who were slaves and fought for the side of America, but did not That's win a their real, freedom. real serious comment. I mean, there were, uh, more black people fought for Britain because Britain was not as in favor of slavery. <laughs> but then Britain liked the Confederacy because they bought a lot of cotton. <laughs> the Confederacy bought a lot of cotton? No, Britain bought a lot of cotton. Oh. Well, I was going to say, <laughs> damn, how much do they need cotton for? <laughs> They uh, they yeah. us, so. American history is not taught and because it's it's interesting. There's it like but even if the, even if I wasn't bad. even if I wasn't learning about American history so I could more effectively be like it's fine to burn the flag. It's still interesting just mm. from a neutral standpoint. You'll become a history professor one day. It's gonna happen. No, I'll become a a podcaster that reads a book before I podcast. That's about <laughs> it. Because you know, I, history professors have a the... curriculum they have to teach. I can just be like. It's did, all you know, did you fucking know? <laughs> the Read a Book podcast. I don't know. Read a book, bitch. <laughs> podcast over. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That'd be a great podcast. <laughs> it really gets right to the heart of the issues. It's, uh, what what amazes me about American history is it is complicated, and it is hard to t- t- write history in a good way that's both relevant and objective. Hard like my penis. Go on. Right. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but we don't even try in America. Oh no! Yeah, it's just bullshit. It's There's just so like, many. That, well, this is a complicated issue. No, it. It could be, but we're doing it so wrong, it would be very easy to do it right. <laughs> well, there's so many situations where it's like, I don't know, this issue is too complicated to figure it out. And it's like, no, it's not. These it's, people, yeah. the way it's taught to you is complicated. That's not the way it happened. <laughs> it's like, well, like, yeah, the Cuban Missile Crisis, the way it's taught to American children, that's complicated. The way it's taught to American children, yeah, what do you do? How do you get out of this? The way it actually happened, real easy. Back Pray. down, dude. You're being a <laughs> you, dick. You did the missiles first, America. Yeah, but why? Uh, they taught the Cuban Missile Crisis to me in high school. They did not mention that. I, they yeah, they did. I don't th- fucking. If you, Tyler, in weeks when you catch up, or anybody who's listening, if you, you were taught about Jupiter missiles in Turkey when you were like in school, fucking tell me about that. Oh yeah, tweet at me. You weren't. <laughs> like, there's no fucking way. There's. I don't think anybody was. And it's, and God. I, I yelled about Cuba last week, didn't I? Yeah, but mostly about Justin Trudeau being Fidel Castro's son, Fidel son, which is a which fine had, thing to yell at. <laughs> that is an acceptable thing to yell about. I'm proud well, to be a Cuban. I'm I, surprised people don't come at me more with Fidel Castro was homophobic. Was he? He was probably it was not cool about it. I don't think. I mean, but uh, I mean, but but in Cuba now, the government pays for. Uh, sexual reassignment surgery. Uh, so, you know, Fidel may have been an asshole about it, but remember we care about material yeah, realities, what, not how nice the guy with the hat is. What was that in the 60s? Uh, this, uh, Cuban Revolution was 59. So the 60s. <laughs> yeah, and then 62 was the embargo, and then Castro was in charge for decades after that. Cool, yeah, so people hated gays in the 60s. Well, yeah, look, I mean, was... There's always going to be something. And it is like, yeah, cause how, which, which American presidents weren't in that yeah, period of really. time. But I think it, they were. They try to say something about, like, uh, you know, being gay was persecuted. Mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe it was, but now, like... Way better. Yeah, gender-affirming surgery is paid for by the government, so Why I'd they... rather be trans in Cuba than America. <laughs> Why do they still uh, all drive fucking old-ass cars? Because no one will trade with them because America will kill them if they do. <laughs> that it's, it's literally like, we have to put an embargo on Cuba. Why? Well, their people are suffering and can't get vital goods and services. So why would you put I have an up? idea for how you can get those to them. <laughs> Damn. But then Cuba, but if, if America does we, it with any conditions, Cuba's going to be rightfully suspicious because America has been trying to have economic control over Cuba for fucking centuries. Because it's too close and socialist. Yeah, it's, and um, they used to be, uh, f- fucking listen to the podcast, it's a podcast called Blowback that talks about this better than I could, but, and th- their series on the Iraq War is good too, but essentially, C- Cuba was basically a colony of the US, mm. and surprise, surprise, a lot of fucking poor people, <laughs> like the government, it was like a gangster government, literally like, uh, Meyer Lansky, and what was the name of the Chicago guy, uh, Giancana, I think Sam Giancana? Mm-hmm. A bunch of mobsters owned casinos there. So after the revolution, the CIA and the mob were working together to return the casinos to American businessmen and mob ma- mob dudes. Jesus fuck. Which is why, like, the mob kept trying to kill Castro and fucking it up because they're a bunch of stupid fucking dagos. <laughs> there are smart Italians, but the Pope killed all of them back in the Renaissance. <laughs> and then we were just left with some guys that were like, hey, I'm in the mob. You know, it's all about respect. I'm going to put poison in Fidel's cigar. And then his secretary is going to give it to him. And his secretary's like, you're too fucking sexy, Castro. I can't kill you. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, but that's true. <laughs> I want to fuck you too bad to kill you. Castro fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. That's the leader I can get behind. It is. I, I kind of, some of like the, some of the dumber, like, oh, Trump is a savage. Those guys, if you told them about Castro in the right way, would become Marxists. <laughs> <laughs> because Absolutely. Castro crushed exactly. so much pussy. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Like, that's a nice, that's a cool guy. And like baseball. <laughs> Good. Which it's clearly he, he America really should have liked him. <laughs> he played baseball. He crushed puss. He fucking. But he, what, is there free healthcare in Cuba? I, I believe so. 
there's a higher life expectancy in Cuba, and they have stopped the transmission of AIDS from mother to child. So there's better health care in Cuba. That's Jesus for fucking sure. Fuck I mean, Christ. you're not allowed to watch Marvel movies. What? Really? Well, I mean, I, it's I'm American not, propaganda. I'm really fucking oversimplifying here. Yeah. But, yeah, but it is American propaganda. Is it okay for a government to not let their citizens watch certain media? Ideally no. not. Is anything the American government does okay? No. No. <laughs> so it's it's not that it's not like it's we're, not perfect, but it's no. better. It's not like the thing. The that thing with Americans need to understand is we are not criticizing any country from a place of success. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> So it's, it's a, so when it's like, well, we need to liberate the Cuban people. That's not what would happen. Uh, they would get to watch CGI Laser Fest, which are I like those movies. They would get to watch those, and also a lot of them would die yeah. and be sadder. No, yeah, the the one thing we're giving them is the illusion of freedom. It's like, no, 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 you don't understand. You're free now, and it's like, but we had health care. <laughs> the only thing, like, I mean, yeah, we yeah. didn't like the fact that we couldn't watch. Uh, Marvel movies, but if you were really helping us, you'd just take that part away and nothing like, else. Right, and then we'll just keep doing this. It's, yeah, it, they, like the like the, the entrepreneur success win brain genius freaks that are like, if you could get a billion dollars right now or $50 every week, take the $50 every week because it's passive income. Those this... guys going to Cuba like, you can be entrepreneurs now and follow your dreams and build things for yourself. They'd be like, I fucking had health care and, and now my kid's going to fucking die. <laughs> th- thank you. But, th- but thank you. I get, but I get to own a business and be shitty to my employees. <laughs> you brought polio back, dick. <laughs> we are going to probably bring polio back. Oh, no. We're, we're on the way, buddy. But I, I, I don't doubt that the U.S. The deep state is real, by the way. It, What's the deep state? That's like the the people that, regardless of elections, tend to stay in positions. So stuff like J. Edgar Hoover went through several presidents of different parties and was always the head of the FBI. Huh. So, but, Boom. and and then you know, right wing conspiracy Boom. theorists move that into, and it's because there's Jew lizards drinking our children's blood, <laughs> and uh, I I think that JFK Jr. is involved in all that shit. Uh, but like the CIA and the F- the three letter agencies in America. Do have done some absolutely stupid shit. <laughs> they are evil and stupid. Looney Tunes level shit. Right. It's been very funny. I, honestly, like the Tuskegee experiments were both horrific and racist and, and fucking. Oh my dumb. fucking god! And it was it wasn't like, anything smart that, like, that was gonna. It, it, no, it was just like let's give a black guy syphilis and see if see what happens when he has it. What <laughs> happens when you have syphilis? Oh no, you don't have to do that. We already know what happens when you have syphilis. No, but what if a black guy had it? But. No, 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 no. You're, the same thing. You're misunderstanding. <laughs> you know, syphilis doesn't know they're black. I disagree. <laughs> B- you what? <laughs> Which and like, I have a degree. I have a gun. Okay, let's see what happens if you give a black guy syphilis. <laughs> Which, by the way, I, I don't recommend looking into it. But the shit Mangala did, it was not science. People talk about he he was a doctor that wanted to learn shit and didn't have to worry about ethics. No, he was just fucking sewing people together. <laughs> <laughs> All the horrific shit that, like, generally imperialist nations have done to the victims of their imperialism. Oh, they just get bored. They're like, well, we've already made everybody's lives hell. Yeah. What do we do now? Like the, the Unit 731 I, or whatever it was in Japan and all that stuff. I understand how you can fall into conspiracy theories after seeing all this shit. Well, I get it. Yeah. I mean, you clearly have no power. Yeah. And they clearly do have power, but they're telling you you have power. Yeah. So <laughs> something sh- so. shit's afoot. <laughs> yeah. No, but it can't be uh, capitalism is the issue. Can't be that. No, and that's the the it purpose. Can't. The purpose of fascism is to make it plausible that it's not capitalism. Oh yeah, that's why uh, Trump isn't denouncing, wasn't denouncing any conspiracy theories when he was in it. No, yeah. he was. Uh, he it, it spent zero time being like, that's not no. <laughs> Speaking of, by the way, I have to compliment Biden on exactly one thing. Mm. Someone came up to him and said, are there people in the Democratic Party that wanted to fund the police? And Biden, because of course he doesn't want to have a spine and say that's good. He actually sort of had a spine and goes, I don't know. Are there people in the Republican Party that think I drink children's blood? Yeah. <laughs> and he walked away. That is a good one. Which is good on you, Joe. Shouldn't but, have raped that lady before and you should do anything good as president. But, but also you should have just been like, yeah, we should do that. We should. Or yeah, just say, yeah, we should fund the police. Uh, Which or, I know is not a great slogan, but I'm sorry, three words don't fucking elucidate the get, entirety gonna, of liberation. Just stop calling it. I I could, I don't. No, yeah, I know. There's no one to, there's, there's no left that's organized to ask to stop doing that slogan. 
I it's just a slogan was, that got caught. That's it, but it was given to us. It feels like because everybody like, maybe it was. It, well, I think it's an umbrella term for people who are like people in the. What's up? You can just pop in. You want to say hi to the podcast, Jill? I went extra short this time. Yeah, no, she's not sincere. It's okay. Tell the podcast that his haircut sucks. <laughs> <laughs> My feelings. <laughs> Mom, you just have to do it for the podcast. Just say, Connor, your haircut sucks. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that's great. Fucking landlord. <laughs> Works pretty great for us. <laughs> and me. It does, it does trickle down to me. Trickle down <laughs> economics works when you have rich friends. When you know that, the rich. That version of trickle oh, down does that's work. Why they did <laughs> that's why they did it. Because he was like literally like, no, it works great. Jim just gave me. <laughs> right. Th- that's why people of my economic class think it works. Because they're like... No, no, no. I have friends that like own Raytheon, and I get to go on their plane, so I think it works. <laughs> you see how quickly it trickles down? They own a plane. You get to go on that plane once a year. What do you give somebody? Your old car? <laughs> and you know what? If your name ends up on the manifest and people do some news stories about it, it's fine. It's fine. He probably didn't do all that stuff. Sure, but... I just listened. I re-listened to a podcast about Jeffrey Epstein recently. <laughs> he, he was bad. Him? Yeah. No. You know an egg, egg shake dick? What? Egg shake, egg, 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 egg. There's a there's a, a recorded transcript of Oh yeah, it was because, just some dude or some girl making fun of his dick for a while. It, it, no, it was uh basically in order to identify him as a sexual predator. They were <laughs> they go, uh, "Mr. Epstein, is it true? This is like a deposition. It's trickled into they're doing this in court and it's recorded. Do you have what can be described as an egg-shaped penis that is Thick at the base and narrows toward the tip, and then his attorney's like, "He's not answering that," which is a yes. Because <laughs> had he said no, they would be like, "That's perjury unless you show us your dick." <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal. Phenomenal. God damn it. Why? Why? <laughs> I bet Jeffrey Epstein's alive, and he came up with defund the police. I bet he. That's not true, but the people who killed Jeffrey Epstein probably did come up with defund the police. Yeah, I know. To a, make it a harder it's, slogan to defend. It's um. Well, I think it also it captures the the ultra the people who don't really get it who are who are just like yeah no cops sure it gets them so it uh, which uh, there is an argument to be made for it. let's stop trying to get the people who are already captured by both shitty parties and like ignore them you know you know like but unfortunately you they know get how many them, people in the in this world fucking hate the government and hate the they just want to smoke weed and they don't hate the homeless. You know, it's, it, there are a bunch of people that don't give a shit about politics. That's utopia. That right could there. be very easily swayed to some basic shit. Like, what if you didn't have to pay for health care? What if your student loans were gone? How would we do that? Well, you see, everybody else has done that already, and pays less in taxes than we do. I want to say it's Unless Finland you're that just ended homelessness. No fucking. They're just like we have the societal resources to do it. And my house. Our state has the control over the economy to just decide to do it. So they did. They just gave them a house. Didn't charge them for a house. Weren't like, hey, you do drugs, you gotta need a house. And it didn't, weren't fucking babying them or anything like You just get a house. And 80% of the people were not a, no, not homeless ever again. <laughs> they got back on their feet and they stayed on their feet. Because, <laughs> holy fucking shit, they lived in a society that supported them. <laughs> oh, and you know, that now re- Republicans would tout the fact that 20% of them went back into it and me like, it's not, well, it's Yeah, bad. or they would say, but Finland's still capitalist. If one right. person who doesn't deserve food gets food, it's worse than everybody. <laughs> it's, it's worse than most people started. So, yeah, but, yeah. We... If one person who doesn't deserve to be a billionaire becomes a billionaire. Yeah, that's so worse. So if one person <laughs> becomes a billionaire? <laughs> yeah, that's worse. Um, We might have a live show August 7th. <laughs> well. <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah. Gotta make some calls. Uh, but we will have a link tree. Linktr.ee forward slash it's just bits. Um, fuck kids. If you're no, a Catholic priest, no. no, don't fuck kids, don't fuck kids. Oh, <laughs> don't. fuck. Well, ironically, maybe fuck them kids. There it is. That's fuck the them. Kids. Yeah, fuck I don't care kids. about their lives. I just would prefer if they don't get raped. Please get molested. Because if we that's... could, if we could work that out, okay, Catholic <laughs> Church. If we could, <laughs> all right. I I go. I'm asking a lot. <laughs> I don't know who I'm making fun of right now. I, a lot of people, I think, <laughs> an amalgamation of many people. <laughs> yeah. I'm making fun of everybody 
but the victims of the Catholic Church's sex abuse. You guys get this one. High five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. It'd be kind of hard to make fun of them because it's so many fucking people. They don't share any characteristics. <laughs> if you include victims being like people who heard about it and were persuaded to say nothing, the parents who had to settle for the Catholic Church. Could you imagine if you... That lady's grandma from Spotlight. What? <laughs> what? It's, there was a sad old lady in Spotlight because of how many people the church raped. Well, yeah. Yeah, she should be. <laughs> you All were right. saying? I'm sweaty. Bye. <laughs>